I'm not making a good showing. I can handle spicy, but it just like keeps hitting the back of my throat. That is so, I can't keep saying that on camera. No, 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 no. What? Here we are at H Mart. Got all the different ramen you could ever want, and all the different snacks you could ever want. This is my favorite thing here. Oh, that feels so good. All right, I want to show you guys. So typically, this is like my rice cooker right like i got like a 20 buck one dot home so let's come on down here so zoji rushi is pretty good but let's get into the crazy zones over here it's 500 for a rice cooker and here we have the little grills for hot pot okay, so y'all might buy like american wagyu that's at about 20 dollar again price now check this out this is what you're trying to So here's the fresh meat market, barbecue meat. And they've got all your marinated meats here as well. So the bulgogi here as well. But we have now entered my favorite part of the store. And here's why. We got pre-made kimchi jjigae for me to eat. Pre-made radish soup as well. It's cool because H Mart supports local businesses. They already got a lot of these soups ready to go from their food court. And I've had a couple of these as well. All the kimchi you can imagine. So these soups are like five, 10 bucks and it'll last you multiple days, at least for me. That seems like a super crazy price. Oh, I'm gonna get some kimchi, hold up. Churros and you got your classic Korean hot dog. It's kind of like a corn dog. You got some pancakes bigger. Here you have your rice cake. I'm going to guess and confirm that this says tteokbokki. And here they have pre-made dinners, combos. So you have your tteokbokki here and then your kimbap, which is basically Korean sushi. Look at that. Wow. They also have pre-made musubi. Dude, they seriously got two walls of kimchi's. I'm gonna show you how big one of these is, okay? This is my whole hand. Wowzers. That is huge. Now I'm starting to learn that side dishes is a huge thing uh, in Korean cuisine. So take a look. Here there's all sorts of assorted side dishes that you can get. We'll start from the bottom. I gotta give a shout out to this. If you've never had like basically kimchi pickled cucumbers, I love that. We've got all sorts of dishes here. This seems to be a staple like in restaurants, garlic stems. I'm not the biggest fan of that. They have assorted ones, different kinds of seaweed. Ooh, this looks interesting. Oh, so I've had this. It's pretty, it's a pretty strong, that one and this one are both pretty strong flavors. Anchovy with nuts. In Chinese culture, we have something just like this. So it's awesome to see that. So I'm in the tea section. Let me know if you see anything interesting here, okay? You know I'm childish. What? spot just kidding but hello kitty literally has hello kitty on the toilet that is cute that's super cute guys we are home from that quick h mart supermarket spree <sighs> i'm excited to eat and share with you what i have actually um never really been to one until i moved to austin even though we had one down in houston go figure but i'm happy and excited to compare h mart's kimchi jjigae that they have pre-made 
It's $5, it lasts me some time because I just mix it with either noodles or rice and just eat it. And we have homemade kimchi jjigae from a Korean auntie and we will be comparing these. This video is sponsored by this big ass bottle of kimchi. Look at that. I was reading this and uh, it says serving size per container four. So uh, I'm gonna try to make a dent in this and go about a fourth of the way. The sodium is scary though. It's about 74% of your daily sodium needs. And then we also have some rice and some beef slices. You saw earlier the unit price of these per net pound is about $53 for each pound. So this is some good stuff. I don't even know where to start, but I'm excited. Let's start with, uh, I like to go, let's try what I believe is gonna be the worst one. Whatever uh, is gonna be less tasty, then go more tasty. So here is your $5 kimchi jjigae. Okay, so it still has all the stuff in there that you need. It has the pork, kimchi, tofu, onion, garlic, and uh, whatever this hot pepper paste is. And then here is very similar. So here's the homemade one, made from actual aged kimchi. But this one has a lot more meat, it seems. This is a stew-like Korean dish. It has pork, scallions, onions, diced tofu. But kimchi stew, kimchi jjigae, is one of the most popular, most common stews of all time in Korean dishes. And with the weather getting colder, it's perfect. It's warm, it's hearty, it's spicy, and overall just really, really delicious. So this is one of my go-tos every time I go to like a Korean restaurant, which is where some of my friends are right now, TFTI. No, the, the kitchen closed and I thought, well, I'll get my own. So here we go. Oh, <coughs> it's spicy. Oh, whatever chili paste hit the back of my throat. But wow, I think that would be about four or five meals. Look at these big, big, big kimchi pieces. And uh, if you've never had tofu, I know for a lot of you, who have tried it, um, the consistency, the texture of it is kind of weird, but I grew up eating this, love tofu. And I don't know where I could get this here, but in Taiwan, uh, where my parents live, one of my dad's favorite thing is chou tofu, which is stinky tofu. And it's just like fermented tofu. Literally, you let it spoil, then you fry it. And that is a delicacy. Dude, this is solid. Okay, I would give that a 7.6 out of 10. It tastes fresh and the ROI is definitely there for $5. Like I would get a soup in a restaurant for like 10, 13 bucks and not nearly as satisfying. As you guys know, I'm a big like ROI guy. I care about getting the best bang for your buck. Makes me happy. And one thing I've noticed about uh, Korean rice, so this is actual Korean rice, it seems stickier than the typical rice I eat. So I typically eat jasmine rice and then I'll eat small grain for sushi and whatnot. This wasn't grilled. Each one of these bites is like $2. So this was, obviously it's been sitting in Tupperware and it wasn't you know fresh off the grill, but that is very tender. Look at that. Thin little slices. I'm gonna try to. They're already pre cut for you. <laughs> my hand is shaking. It's wobbling like my stomach these days. Y'all probably don't think this is sanitary, but I'm just gonna eat this together. I don't have gochujang either, but wow. Mmm. That is good. Woo! Now, homemade kimchi jjigae. Soup first, just like when I test my fuzz. Broth first, by itself. Whoa, okay, that's like a completely different uh, flavor. <clears throat> Hit the back of my throat again. <coughs> I found the biggest spoon I could just for this occasion. Something about this tastes different. I don't know if there's ginger. All right, but let's try the kimchi now. Mmm, thinly sliced pieces of pork. It looks like. Oh, check this out. Oh, whoa. That's tender too. I don't know if Koreans consume a lot of meat, but this is a lot of meat, right? Like, this stew has a lot. 
This pretty much is just rice, beef, and kimchi. But I mean, I guess that's good. So in Chinese, we have a term, a phrase called hen xia fan, which means very down rice, I think. Check me on that. Oftentimes, we'll use that term, that phrase, when it comes to spicy food or uh, very flavorful food because you know that side dish to rice ratio is perfect where you know something like this where it's so savory so flavorful it's very down rice and <laughs> xiao fan so it's a good balance so i can see why <coughs> it got me again i promise i'm not like a bitch i'm not making a good showing i ha i can handle spicy but it just like keeps hitting the back of my throat that is so i can't keep saying that on camera but uh, they say speak it into existence and hopefully one day I can be on Sean Evans, Evans, Evans. Hot ones, hot ones, hot ones. That would be amazing. Is there a toilet nearby quickly? Do you mind? I'll go, I'll go for a piss. Hey. Is it nearby? There is, right into the green room, right Please. into the green room. <laughs> Initial thoughts. This is a nine, 9.2. Something about it, I, I don't know how to explain it. But you know when people cook and they say like food, you know, making food is a type of, uh, you know, you show your love through food. I don't know if I said that right. Or food is like the labor of love or something like that. But I think in our culture, this is very true. Like it doesn't matter how mad, how long you haven't talked to somebody or, you know, what they did to piss you off. You know, get your, get your family, get your friends, whatever, your worst enemy around some delicious Asian food and all's forgiven, right? Like I think, all right, I'm gonna put my, put my parents on blast, but uh, whenever they would get in a fight or a quarrel, uh, an argument, whatever, you name it. Uh, oftentimes I think it was uh, Josh and myself, we probably caused it. The aftermath, they would just be kind of quiet. My dad uh, is a huge proponent of the silent treatment. Um, and he just like, won't talk to any of us my mom is so loving so caring no matter what she still made sure food hit the table i gotta feed my husband gotta feed my kids uh so thank you mom and uh, no matter what the food was still top notch right she didn't like just slap a bunch of garbage together and say you know f this like y'all don't treat me well well, this is what you're gonna get. No, it was still really good food. And that's what I'm talking about, that labor of love. You can taste it in here. So, thank you, auntie. This is delicious. Ah, it's missing tofu. If it had tofu, shit. This would be like a, almost a 10. But it is kind of thrown together with just like leftover ingredients. Recently, I tried, uh, I think it's called army stew. Very similar, it has the same chili pepper paste base, but it has like, hot dogs in this soup, but it's made for the army, I think. Oh, no, 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 what? Okay, you know when you like, let's say you eat a grape and you're like, oh, this is pretty good. A grape, a kiwi, a mango, you probably know where I'm going with this. And then you eat candy. It has artificial sugars, artificial sweeteners, and you go back and you're like, oh, like this is so sour. That's how I feel. That started out good. I had the real deal, the real deal sex appeal. We used to have this classmate, I won't say his name, but it rhymes with Dabil. And he would always introduce himself like, I'm Dabil, the real deal sex appeal. This is the real deal. Wow, that flavor, flavor profile. That's what I was trying to think of earlier. It tastes so different. Okay, there's a reason why that's $5. Mmm. There you have it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the quick H Mart tour. Tour, whoop -ah. And then here's the food. I'm gonna give you guys one more bite. This auntie, one of the first things she noticed about me, um, she goes, Wow, that boy really liked rice. He eats a lot of rice. <laughs> it makes sense because growing up, my parents called me Fat Tong, which means rice bucket. Literally translates to rice bucket. And uh, when I was growing up, whatever was left over on the table, they would just say, Isaiah, clean it up. Kind of like, I don't know, kind of like that vacuum cleaner from Teletubbies. He's my spirit animal. Mmm. That's so good. But I hope you all enjoyed that. This is for the thumbnail. 
Eat well, stay safe, happy holidays, love you guys. And if you like content like this, please like, sub, send it to your friends, hang out with me. As always, just here to eat, share some stories, spend 10 minutes with you guys on your lunch break, dinner break, whatever it may be, and hopefully entertain you guys. Life's crazy. Love y'all. Cheers. Bye. We got it! <laughs>